Hello guys, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich. So, uh, the game crashed last time, so we'll see uh, if it will crash again or not. I have to take an autosave, so I'm not really sure if... We're not probably not at the exact date when it crashed, but... Look, just looking at the map, it looks like... Somewhat uh, where we were left off, left off. Maybe a bit earlier than the crash, obviously. So, let's cross our fingers and hope it doesn't happen again. Right, yeah, so we didn't get our... Yeah, we did get one extra division before the crash, at least, so... Please don't crash. <laughs> Five divisions, twelve, three... Not a lot of divisions here. Oh, subjects here. Here we go. To a next. Oh. How can we do this? Hmm. Right. Okay. So here, that uh, division arrived. Very well. Hmm. Can we change this to something else? Yeah. Sure. Do this. I don't know. Blue. Yeah, we looked at uh, the factories before. The Sensitivists have a lot more factories than, well, these guys down here. Um, okay, another one. What do you have? You are a puppet. Yes. We have also Egypt, or Sultanate of Egypt here. Not very good at reading or anything, really. Okay, some industries, lovely. Uh, right, so we are n just arrived in 37, how nice. I think we should get probably a synthetic oil factory. The fall of Petrograd. Eh? Petrograd, I thought it was up. Oh. Uh, the great Soviet city built by Peter the Great was captured today. The Soviet defenders initially held back the Russian army across the Nerva River, but a few days ago those positions finally fell. Now sustained cannon fire on Vasilyevsky Island has put the last defenders out of their misery. Some military tacticians say that with proper defense, the city could have held out for years, but the Russian momentum carried them through the city far faster than that. The Russian army's soldiers are using the palace square as a staging ground for moving throughout the rest of the city, and there are rumors of Russian soldiers taking celebratory tours through the Great Museum of Artillery, confident that it will put their own mark on the military history of the Soviet Union. Terrible, I guess. Okay, cancel the aggression pact. What? How could you? Sail of Ceylon. Hmm. Reform Middle Europa. Europa Commission? Hmm. I'm trying to form U European Union. Do you have Ceylon? I oh, you do. Okay. Kuban. Are you at war with someone else? No? Mm. Careful investments. Alright. Uh, so, that was that, right? So, we need to go down this route now. The CSB has always been the party of the country folk. Socialists concern themselves only with the workers, and the farmers are too often forgotten. We're making this up for them by offering development grants. Building slots. Fine. Yeah, I think the Soviets here are gonna collapse. Just looking at the sizes on this. This is totally screwed here with this. Ah, the Russian Republic will win, I guess. Kingdom of Ukraine. 
von Habsburg. Hm. Fascist, okay. Hm. Okay, so no crashes yet. Volunteers, okay. You have from Ottoman Empire, okay. And you have from no one. Mm. Yeah, it's not that far off. Well, yeah. Depends on where they have. Like the number here, if they have 77 and these guys have 50, then they do have more men, but... Oops. Okay, more civil wars. Interesting. The Romanian Civil War. After the disastrous defeat in the Weltkrieg, the days of the Romanian monarchy were counted. After the death of King Ferdinand I in 1927, the crown went to his grandson, Michael, who was soon forced to abdicate and was replaced by a military dictatorship. This Autocracy was soon replaced by the nigh totalitarian rule of the Iron Guard. However, many people in Romania, most not uh, uh, notably intellectuals, remained sympathetic to the monarchist, uh, monarchists, especially Ferdinand's first disgraced son, Carol. A group of pro monarchist officers have defected and seized control of Bessarabia and Moldavia as a stage of operations for a monarchist restoration in the country. Romania now falls into a bloody civil war, and no one knows how it will end. Are we recording? Yes, okay, good. Whew. Okay, so, civil war here. Kingdom and Iron Guard. Who are strongest? Oh, intervene. Intervene in the Romanian civil war. Now that the civil war has erupted in Romania between the Iron Guard government and supporters of the former king, who shall Austria support? Support the legionnaires, the monarchists, stay out of it. Hmm. I don't know. Do I care? I don't really like the Iron Guard, I suppose. So let's support the monarchist. A thousand manpower. Uh, send a thousand equipment, old ones goes first. Hmm. Don't really have a thousand equipment, <laughs> but okay. One more division here. And you have 7 to 17, you have 8 to 17. Okay, so somewhat even, even sizes here. But where are your divisions here? Okay, hmm. one more. Okay, hmm. looks like the Iron Guard. It's going to win. Hmm. Purge intellectuals, okay. Still doing oil shipments? You are not, because you don't have the oil. Right. For the king! Mongolia took nine states. Oh. Yeah, we got that. Mobile warfare. How lovely. Okay. All kinds of social classes are blaming each other for the disappearance of wealth, be it monetary or in goods. The citizens, the citizen blames the farmer f that he has no food, and the farmer blames the citizen that he has no money. Society is split, and only through careful discourse shall it be mended. This is where that or uh, arduous journey begins. To base stability and divide society goes away. Lovely. And Mongolia ate something. <laughs> okay. And we got uh, this. Lovely. Let's get this. Organization plus 15. fall of Moscow. Today, Russian forces broke through the siege lines of the capital in the multiple places and converged on the Kremlin. 
It is the second time in a few decades that Moscow falls to the hands of fellow Russians and some are starting to ask if this madness really is worth it. Meanwhile, Soviet soldiers continue to snipe the enemy from high-rises, but the main defenses have broken and are filtering out through the suburbs into the surrounding forests. Red Square, along the center of Soviet life in the city, has been turned into a makeshift POW camp, and burning debris was seen falling from the Kremlin windows, no doubt a last-ditch effort to prevent Soviet intelligence from falling into Russian hands. Now, this is a dark day for the Soviet Union. Are you actually getting... Uh, yeah, you are. Okay. Volunteers. Mm. I don't really want the Sintilis to win. But, I don't know. Mm. Can't really do much about it. And lease. Well, we don't even have enough well, supplies for our own army at the moment. Uh, do this and this. Still need seven divisions to be able to send volunteers. God damn it. So lacking in men. Auto Ender. Hmm. Ausgleich preparations. Every 10 years since 1867, Austrian and Hungarian delegations meet to discuss how much each side of the empire puts into the common ministers, the ministers for foreign, military and financial affairs. However, due to their laws and demand for reparations for the Croatian territories, the renegotiations of 1927 came to a standstill, resulting in Hungary not having paid anything into the common treasury for the last decade. Hungary's state as a renegade crown under the Kaiser's reign has been a thorn in Austria's side for a while now, and at least some efforts have been made to bring them back into the herd. Invite them. Come, my friends. Bend the knee. <laughs> oh, I will destroy you? No. Hungary attends the Ausgleich uh, renegotiations. While there is some doubt whether Hungary would be willing to sort out the diplomatic differences between the uh, two halves of the empire, they have agreed. To come, at least. <laughs> Invite others to the Ausgleich. The Ausgleich has always uh, been conducted as a meeting of the Austrian and the Hungarian elite. However, we have had politicians from Bohemia, Galicia and Illyria petition for a more open, multi ethnical negotiations this year with delegations from all constituent states of empire of the empire present also gathering delegations from all of austria hungarian's corners might help mediate some of the internal tensions that have been going on since the weltkrieg has ended no way this is between us and the Magyars. you are right bohemians galicians and Illyrians. we need to think better invite all the people of the dual monarchy jesus uh, burp. Uh, I don't know. I guess the most stable one is taking this, probably, but that would piss off the Hungarians. Let's do a middle ground. They hold our core promises, they do. Hmm. I didn't know that. Uh, the fall in Washington. Syndicist militias have advanced towards and captured the symbolic capital of the United States, Washington, D.C. They stormed the Capitol building and met strong resistance, but eventually they broke through, and the flag of the combined syndicates of America now flies over the U.S. Capitol. Rumors are that syndicate militias have been rounding up all political representatives they could find in the city to give uh, them a trial. Quotation mark. Although unconfirmed sources claim that most Important government figures have been evacuated to the battle, with their current whereabouts unknown. Okay. Galicia agrees to attend. Excellent. Illyria agrees to attend. Bohemia agrees to attend. Alright, so we gained, what, 10 from that? Spent 20? Gained 30? Okay. That's good. Uh, time? Right, almost halfway. 
the fall of Denver. Minutemen militias have been fighting spare skirmishes with the federal government across the Great Plains. Today, their efforts came to a close as they finally descended on the city of Denver after a large-scale assault across the South Platay Valley, Denver being the capital of Colorado and the main federal stronghold in the Great Plains. The fall of the Queen City of the Plains indeed seems to be a major upset for the future of the United States. And as fighting dies down in the South Platay Valley, many experts agree that the federal government is now almost certain to capitulate to the Minutemen. The US can't take much more, can it? Oh, so Mexico is at war with yeah, California. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, they are having a hard time. Douglas MacArthur. Erp. Okay. Despite the fear that Hungary would not take kindly to us having invited other delegations besides theirs to the negotiations, they have arrived in Vienna yesterday among the delegations from Bohemia, Galicia and Illyria. While this year's Auschwitz renegotiations re are attended by politicians and thinkers from all over the empire, the Hungarians remain at the center, since their problem is the most important to solve. The festivities lasted long into the night. What a night. Okay. Hm. What a night. Oh boy. On the first day of the negotiations, speeches were held. One Hungarian politician has delivered the following. Are we not to be proud of the Austro-Hungarian Empire? For decades now, the man in Vienna has strived to reform what was already, already perfect. I believe that Austria and Hungary, together, have a part to play in the future of the world. Together, we shall make Austria-Hungary great again. <laughs> While his co Patriots were visibly disturbed by this implication that Kaiser Karl's federalization politics were a mistake. He himself seemed rather pleased despite the absence of applause. How insolent. Remove him. He's right though, isn't he? Uh, I guess... How insolent. Let's play middle ground. Probably wrong. Hungary demands reparations. Pause. Mint the social rift. As anticipated, the Hungarian delegations once again demand compensation for the loss of the territories of Croatia Slavon Slavonia that were in vassalage under the Hungarian crown until 1925, when said territories were occupied by the revolution of southern Slavs, which ended with the cessation of the lands in 1926 to the newly reformed Kingdom of Illyria. The Hungarian delegation still claims the land as their own, but acknowledges that having them be under Hungarian control again is impossible. Therefore, like in 1927, they demand a hefty sum of money to be transferred to their treasury. Offer them to pay for own coffers. The debt should be paid by the Illyrians. Let's try to go here. This is precisely why you pay less taxes now. Hmm. Hello. Illyrians, you pay. Uh, play them out against each other. This is precisely why you pay less taxes now. Bend the D, Hungary. Bohemia proposed a Slovak state. What? Oh, pause. Well, that's good. Oh, nice. In the vein of the discussion of the day before, the Bohemian delegation brings up the issue that the Slovak people living under the direct rule of the Hungarian crown. Without any special rights or autonomy, the Slovak people have been the victim of an ongoing policy of a Magyarization. The Bohemian delegation proposes the creation of an autonomous state for the Slovak people as a solution to free their brothers from the Magyar yoke. How does this even concern you? This is certainly a thing Hungary should consider. It should be done. Still, this requires further planning. Uh, shut up. Galicia demands Transcarpathia. Joining in on the recent trend of demanding Hungarian land, I guess. Uh, another place to ask for territorial concessions, you fool. Oh, why did we invite all the others? We cannot ask this of Hungarian here now. It should be done. Or we could break up Hungary. <laughs> Something. <laughs> uh... Shut up. 
Oh, we should also take something here, right? What we need. Colonial empires and the Reichsprach labor are all fine and dandy, but in it is luxury we do not need. We cannot live from consuming ivory and cast steel. Germany can go get sunburned. The man in Vienna knows his place and want what he truly needs, a functioning economy and society free from outsized influences. Yes, remove Black Monday. Elira demands the bar aid. Joining in on the recent trend of demanding Hungarian land, Elira now too demands cessation of the Baka territories. While it's home to many Illyrians, claiming this strip of land in the southernmost region of Hungary is a rather audacious move by the Illyrian delegation. Especially considering that Hungary is not yet formally recognized as South Slavic state. Okay, so we could in theory have completely broken up uh, Hungary here. Uh, but we did piss them off by taking the thing where we didn't like side with Hungary. So now I'm just alienating all four uh, puppets under my rule. But shut up. Bend the D, you fool. It ends. Let us hope this uphold peace within the Empire. Success. We have a success. Okay. <laughs> Re negotiations. Okay. Huh. It didn't seem like a success. Huh. Okay, well, we lost that thing with the Marquias being pissed. Or Hungarians. Austro Hungarian ties restored. Okay. Uh huh. So they lose power. We just lost that thing where we actually had almost this daily autonomy progress gain, right? Uh -huh. So, uh, diplomacy. Where did we get that country list as earlier? Is it here? We oh, we're here, right? My subjects. Russian Republic? Oh, that civil war ended. But I bet you're pretty... Uh, okay, white peace, white peace. Indo-Chinese Union? Oh, they took the land here. Hmm. Apathetic people. Okay. The Indo-Chinese revolt succeeds. With the tenacity and fury of the Viet Minh troops uh, driving German troops out of nearly all strategical points in the Indo-Chinese peninsula, the German Foreign Office finally agreed to meet the leaders of the rebellion and offered full independence to the entire land they claim. Thus today, the creation of the Indo-Chinese Union was confirmed by the Viet Minh uh, to the cheers of the Vietnamese people who had come to witness this historical event or historic event. The country's future is yet uncertain, but rumors of the Baratian alignment are starting to spread uh, through diplomatic channels as the world tries to measure the impact of this event on Asia. A devastating blow for colonialism. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, they still live here. Or something. Mm. Black Monday almost gone. Sora? Can you actually plan mobilization? Okay. Remove this decline, you probably can. Uh, Austrian payments. Hmm. Okay, the second international. The first syndicalist 
uh, International held in Paris dealt with spreading the, the ideology overseas, supporting syndicalist movements and strengthening the ties between existing syndicalist nations and thanks to their gathering success. The second International has been called to be held in London. Representatives from the entire world were greeted by the British artillery salute, a Scottish bagpipe chorus and an <laughs> overall warm reception. As Europe rolls closer and closer to war, military and economic cooperation excuse me, between the syndicalists uh, is expected to be in primary topic to be the primary topic of discussion. And France and Britain will once again call the shots on the international's policies. Or policy. Okay. What happened over here? Right, the syndicalists are actually winning in America. That's interesting. Okay, join here, and we have a few points to use. Export. Hmm. Hmm. Decryption supply. Decryption supply. Oh, they're the same. Political power gain. Decryption research time. Hmm. Okay, why would you take this guy over this guy? Sortie efficiency. Oh, it's the... right. We probably want, like, people from our government, right? Mm. Social conservatives, I guess we'll just take him. to end the head of government oh oh it's like a uh, minister of intelligence ah I see okay uh, okay they're from different governments right 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 okay excavations and heavy tank um, we are on 37, not in 38 though. Mm. Artillery, yes. Get artillery, oh, got something else here. Get anti-tank. Okay, we backed the wrong uh, side here in the Civil War, apparently. What about toast? Oh, <laughs> yes, you are toast. Okay, Korea declared war on Japan. You need another army here. Lothar. That's fine. Go up here. What city is this? Oh, grass. Right. Uh, you become this, just take this. Hmm, great! The CNTFIA, what? Civil War in Spain now, oh Jesus. Join here. Guess this is the Sintilist, <laughs> what the hell? The Cabalistas, or whatever it's called, is. I guess that's the same, or something. So this is a three-way civil war again. Okay. A lot of civil wars in this uh, mod. I guess it's the whole shtick of things, civil wars. I don't mind. It's very interesting. Too bad we can't send volunteers around, but oh well. Ever since the defeat of Napoleon, space has been Spain has been plagued by violence, dissent, and turmoil. But it appears that these tensions have reached a breaking point. That is, the Spanish Kingdom has been ripped apart in a three-side civil war between numerous factions. The loyalists of the Madrid government, the supporters of the pretender Javier, and finally the anarcho-syndicalist party known as the CNT-FAI. Uh, there are already numerous reports of volunteers and equipment being shipped to Spain from all over the world to support one faction or another. It can be safely said uh, that the fields and mountains of Spain will be the right battlefield, no, first battlefield of a much wider conflict between the left and the right. A troublesome development.
So I guess it's uh, like uh, m many different civil wars, and the left and the right try to like get as many to well be left or right, and then the final war breaks out between the left and the right or something. Uh, not looking good for the American Union state here. Nope. What we need? Oh, wonderful. So Black Monday, turned economy. Ooh. Okay, for what? A year? Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay, we can now do this. This. Is not a subject of the Austrian Empire. Okay, we cannot take this, and we cannot take this either, because... Okay, we can only take status quo. I guess that's because of the... Auschwitz thing we took. Hmm, okay. Do we want that now, or do we want something else? Base war support. Economic plan. Try and get this uh, research slot. Yeah, I think I'll want to try and get this one. So... Established in 1935 during conference to discuss the sluggish state of the Austrian industry, the economic revelation plan had been put on hold due to ongoing economic crisis. Still, its contents with slight alterations describe good ways to combat the disastrous effects of the Black Monday crash and to strengthen Austrian industry now bereft of the main competitor. Of their main competitor. Yes, do that. Won the fifth research slot. Well, that's good. You join here. Four, five, six, seven. All right, it's twenty-seven divisions now. Good stuff. So, who is strongest here? Uh huh. Uh huh. The Sinsi list again. They're probably getting reinforcements. No. Mm. Carly, Spain, Kingdom of Spain. The Bourbon. Okay. Carlist uprising. Spain is collapsing into anarchy and anarchy, and the Pope has declared that all good Catholics should support the Carlist cause. We should send aid at once. Uh, yes. Support the Carlists. We're good Catholics here. Hmm. 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 Not much happening here in the California or Pacific States of America versus Mexico. Mm, also s roughly same strength. Do have more military factories, these guys down here. They have more civilian though. Mm. Doesn't look good. lend -Lease. Communist America? Jesus. What's wrong with the Kingdom of Spain, by the way? Why don't we support them? Are they not, not also Catholic? Memories of the Republic. A rise of the Mongol Empire. News and rebuttal sources are scarce in the vast plains of Mongolia, but it recent, but has recently come to light uh, that the Mad Baron of Mongolia, a Roman Ungern von Sternberg, has risen to new heights and declared himself to be successor to Genghis Khan, appropriately named Ungern Khan. It is not known what this change will entail, though the Mongolian army has already defeated the Marklik, and von Steinberg has declared his right to reign over all Mongolians numerous times before. Experts deny the possibility that the Mongolians could pose a threat to the established powers in the Far East, but the fresh Khan's ambitions can only grow higher. Can't get any more insane than that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yes, big on the map at least. But not. Well, uh, it has a lot of manpower. Oh. Recruitable pops. Okay. Total mobilization. Really? Hmm. Wait, does that give minus uh, pop? Oh, didn't know that. We have here 
normal economy. All oh, right, yeah, I think it does that in uh, the normal eight, uh, Hearts of Iron Fall as well. What's this? Planes and Reserves. The Phoenix. That's... Fighter? No? Uh, do this. They should be filled up, right? If I'm paused. Wait at the date, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you uh, just uh, pop out here in Vienna instead. Nieder Österreich. Not really sure. Need 500 of something to demote. 500 of that rook thing. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, eh. Active. What can we do to annex them? Request. Request forces. Hmm. Not really sure. Uh. We are still a bit far off from sending volunteers. Uh, well, we could actually deploy. Yeah, let's do that. And. Right. Join here. And now we can. Send reinforcements. Send volunteers. How many can we send? Two. All right. Uh, now we need someone. We take you. No, you. Shoot the division. No, they're not. Yeah, we need another map here or icon for the shoots. Uh, this right instead, so we can. Yeah. Know what's what? Want you and uh, you go here. We actually want that uh, level four dude or what? Mountaineer. Actually, I actually think I want mountaineer. A lot of mountains. Yeah, you and we'll take you uh, this one and. It. Send volunteers, Carl. <laughs> Take the time here. Whoa, way above limit again. So I'll have to cut here. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Very much appreciate your support. And hope I'll see you next time. Bye.